Staying in the Middle East amid skyrocketing tensions in the region, Turkey has decided to increase its anti-Israel rhetoric. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has threatened to invade Israel in support of Palestinians in Gaza. Speaking to his country's defense industry, Erdogan said that Turkey could intervene in the war in Gaza as it had done in the past in Libya and Nagorno-Karabakh. What was our imports exports in the defense industry and where have they come to? Dear brothers, let none of these fool us. We need to be very strong so that Israel cannot do these ridiculous things to Palestine. Just as we entered Karabakh, just as we entered Libya, we can do something similar to them. There is no reason for us not to. We only have to be strong so that we can take these steps. Now, Erdogan was referring to his past actions in 2020 when Turkey had sent troops to Libya in support of a United Nations-backed accord. Turkey has also actively supported Azerbaijan with military training and technology in the conflict with Armenia over the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region. Now, following the threat from Erdogan, Israeli leaders called the Turkish president a wannabe dictator. Israel's opposition leader, Yair Lapid, has urged NATO nations to condemn the threats made by Erdogan as Turkey is a NATO member. Meanwhile, Israel's foreign minister has compared Erdogan to the slain Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. In recent months, the Turkish president has launched a string of verbal attacks against Israel and its prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. And this is not the first time that Erdogan has threatened Israel. In fact, while addressing the parliament in May, Erdogan said that Israel is a rogue state and has to be stopped by Ankara. At the same speech, Erdogan announced that Turkey had ended all trade relations with Israel over the war in Gaza. Now the United States and other NATO members are yet to comment on Erdogan's threats, which have only grown bolder and more direct against Israel in the 10-month-long war against Hamas. The Lord continued to say, Syrians, Syrians are getting ready for war. He said, Syrians are getting ready for war. We need to pray about that. And then he said, speak to Turkey. Speak to Turkey to not participate in coming against Israel. The Lord is saying, we, we need to pray for the nation of Turkey to not participate in coming against Israel. God is willing to have mercy on the nation of Turkey. If it will refrain from participating with the nations that are coming against Israel in this time. On the 5th of January 2022, he said, Syrians, Syrians are getting ready for war. And I believe this will happen very soon because it's like Hamas is being used to destabilize Israel and then all its other enemies, which are just standing, waiting for the right moment to pounce in. And they're just waiting. So I gave this word on uh, January the 5th 2022 he said syrians are getting ready for war speak to turkey to not participate in coming against israel speak to turkey do not participate because god is about to deal with the enemies of